What happened when NASA sent spiders to space? The first animals left Earth in 1947. They weren't monkeys or dogs or cats. They were fruit flies carried by a V2 rocket. The fruit fly's genetic makeup is similar to the human one. Scientists wanted to test the effects of cosmic radiation. So the flies were launched into space. Then they parachuted back down. All of them made the trip alive. It was only a matter of time before NASA tried spiders. In 1970, NASA took two European garden spiders on board Skylab. They were named Arabella and Anita. They were each fed a house fly and put in a small vial. The vial had a water-saturated sponge and another fly. Arabella and Anita spun webs aboard the space station. Sadly, both spiders died of dehydration in 1973. They're on display at the Smithsonian now. In November 2008 and May 2011, spiders were aboard the Endeavor. These were golden silk cord weavers. Scientists wanted to see how they'd weave their webs in microgravity. The spiders were obviously confused at first. Their webs were chaotic and three-dimensional, but within a few days of being in space, they adapted. Golden silk cord weavers typically spin asymmetric webs. The largest portion of the web is located in one direction, but in microgravity, their webs became symmetrical. Orb weavers usually face downward when waiting for prey. Gravity makes them much faster when they catch a fly below them. Without gravity, the spiders could attack prey in any direction. Attacking downward became even more effective. The spiders learned to do it in a fraction of a second. To feed them, NASA brought common fruit flies. Again, the scientists also studied how microgravity affected the fly's flight patterns. NASA also recruited thousands of school kids for the experiment. Classrooms were asked to keep golden silk cord weavers. They'd observe the differences between the ones in space and those at home. This was the control group for the experiment. Detailed lesson plans were offered to participating schools. The kids got to learn cool scientific facts from real-life astronauts. They also got to watch their pets devour dozens of insects. Spider mania reached its peak. In April 2011, the Endeavor launch was watched by thousands of people. Most online comments were about the spider knots. The human astronauts felt a little upstaged. The first golden silk cord weavers actually went to space on Space Shuttle Columbia. Tragically, they were lost along with the crew when it exploded. The latest spider knot to return to Earth was Nefertiti. The red back jumping spider went to space in 2022. She was launched to the International Space Station in July. This was a YouTube space lab experiment. The idea came from an 18-year-old Egyptian student. Nefertiti spent 100 days aboard the ISS. NASA astronaut Sunita Williams was the commander at the time. She provided updates about Nefertiti through a blog. The spider adapted her feeding behavior to account for weightlessness. She then successfully readjusted to gravity after her return to Earth in October. Nefertiti was moved to the Natural History Museum. She lived at the so-called insect zoo. Nephi the spider knot, as she was known, died at the age of 10 months. This is normal for the species. If we ever go to Mars, do you think we should take spiders with us?